Otokichi Danuki. Our children's club was in a prefab building next to S Shrine. It was pretty old, and the roof was full of patches, and the paint peeling off looked like a map too. Because it was prefab, it was made of steel plates and framing, so it was okay in winter with two oil heaters. But in summer, the whole thing was so hot that it was unbearable. The teacher in charge used to joke we were in the fry pan club, but you really did sweat in there even just sitting still. That's why it was such a relief when evening showers fell. If you looked at the building from outside, you could tell how hot it was from all the steam coming off it in the rain. It was shortly before the summer holidays, and one day I stayed back at the club until 6pm for after school care because my mother had to work late. Everyone returned home early that day, so it was just me and Miss Nakayama. It was so hot that I wondered whether it might rain, and then I fell asleep. I don't know how much time passed, but I woke up to the sound of heavy rain. Ah, it's raining! But when I looked out the open window, it wasn't raining at all. I stood up and ran to the office to talk to Miss Nakayama. Miss, something weird is going on. You heard the rain just now, right? But it's not raining outside. Oh, you're right. It must be you, Dachi Summer, again. Maybe he's announcing the arrival of Otokichi Danuki. The teacher wasn't surprised in the least. On the contrary, she spoke looking perfectly calm and normal. That's odd, I thought. But it was just after six, so I went home. After that, I occasionally heard you, Dachi Summer, even though it wasn't raining outside. It even happened when I was sleeping during the day. That's why we started calling it you, Dachi Summer's Otokichi. One day, when it did actually rain, I heard a loud bang coming from the toilet. It happened twice. It was so loud. Loud enough that some girls started crying in shock. But Miss Nakayama again wasn't concerned. Otokichi Danuki is here, she said, and didn't seem flustered at all. Another time, around snack time at 3pm, the clock seemed to go crazy and rang dozens of times in a row. As everyone was focused on it, one of the cream puffs on the table disappeared. It was suddenly gone, just like that. Everyone was sitting in front of their own plate. We counted, and they were still all there, so it was incredibly strange. I asked Miss Nakayama exactly what was on my mind. Miss, you said something about Otokichi Danuki, right? Does that have something to do with the big sounds even though it's not raining, and the cream puff that disappeared? That's right. Well then, shall I tell you about it? This building is a prefab, right? And you know that it was used somewhere else before this, right? This used to be the bunkhouse for a damn construction site. What's a bunkhouse? It's where the workers sleep. Where do I start? On the mountain where they were working, there were lots of tanuki. There were mothers and their pups who came to the bunkhouse for their leftover food, so they were used to being around people. But one time, a driver in a dump truck moving some soil hid a mother and her baby. That's so sad. It is. The father Tanuki was incredibly angry, and he went to the bunkhouse and started banging on the roof, making it sound like it was raining. That's strange. The driver was the bad guy, right? Yes, but the father Tanuki must have thought someone in the bunkhouse did it. Either way, this prefab building still holds the angry feelings 
of that father, Tanuki. Having said that, Miss Nakayama looked up at the roof and spoke in a gentle voice. Hey, Tanuki-kun, you're the one who made the rain sounds and stole the cream puff, right? And then, as if waiting for the sound of the teacher's voice, we heard a sound coming from the roof, like rain again. <laughs>